Welcome to Reading Practice. Time. How do you manage your time effectively to balance work, study, and leisure activities? Managing my time effectively is essential for maintaining a balance in my life. I usually create a daily schedule or to-do list, prioritizing tasks based on deadlines and importance. This helps me stay organized and ensures that I allocate time for work, study sessions, and moments of relaxation. Can you share a specific strategy you use to meet deadlines and avoid procrastination? To meet deadlines and avoid procrastination, I break down larger tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. This way, I can focus on one aspect at a time and steadily make progress. Additionally, setting short breaks between study or work sessions helps me stay refreshed and maintain concentration. How do you make the most of your free time? And why is it important to have leisure time in your schedule? During my free time, I engage in activities I enjoy, such as reading, listening to music, or spending time with friends. Leisure time is important as it provides a mental break, reducing stress and preventing burnout. It allows me to recharge and approach work or study tasks with renewed energy. How has technology influenced the way you manage your time and are there any tools or apps you find helpful? Technology plays a significant role in managing my time efficiently. I use productivity apps and tools to set reminders, create schedules, and track progress. These tools help me stay organized and ensure that I don't overlook important tasks or deadlines. In your opinion, what are the key benefits of being mindful of time management in our daily lives. Being mindful of time management brings several benefits, such as increased productivity, reduced stress, and improved overall well-being. It allows me to make the most of each day, achieve my goals, and have a sense of accomplishment. Time management is a valuable skill that contributes to a more fulfilling and balanced life. Family. Can you describe your family and share a bit about each member? Sure. My family is a small but close-knit. There's my mom, who works as a nurse and is incredibly caring. My dad works in an office, and he's the one who always makes us laugh with his jokes. I also have a younger sister, Sarah, who is still in school but loves playing soccer. We spend a lot of time together, and even though we are different, we get along really well. How do you typically celebrate special occasions or holidays with your family? For special occasions or holidays, we usually gather at home and celebrate with a delicious meal. Christmas and birthdays are big for us. We exchange gifts share stories, and enjoy each other's company. Sometimes, we invite extended family over to make it even more festive. What are some common family activities or traditions that you enjoy participating in? We have a few family traditions that we cherish. Every Sunday, we have a movie night where we take turns picking a film to watch together. During holidays, we bake cookies as a family. It gets a bit messy, but it's so much fun. These traditions create lasting memories and bring us even closer. How do you handle conflicts or disagreements within your family? Conflict is a natural part of family life. When disagreements arise, we try to sit down and talk about our feelings calmly. Listening to each other's perspectives is important. 
finding common ground and compromising helps us resolve issues without holding on to grudges. Communication is key in maintaining a healthy family dynamic. In your opinion, what makes a family strong and supportive? A strong and supportive family is built on love, trust, and understanding. It's about being there for each other through thick and thin, celebrating achievements, offering a helping hand during tough times, and showing unconditional love create a foundation that allows each family member to grow and thrive. Having a supportive family is like having a reliable safety net in life. Festivals and holidays. Can you share your favorite festival or holiday and why it holds significance for you? My favorite festival is Christmas. The festive decorations, the joyous atmosphere, and spending time with a family make it special. I love the tradition of exchanging gifts and the delicious holiday meals. It's a time when everyone seems to be a bit kinder and more generous, and that warmth is something I look forward to each year. How do you typically celebrate major holidays with your family and friends? During major holidays, we usually gather at home for a festive celebration. For Christmas, we decorate the tree together, exchange gifts, and have a hearty dinner. On New Year's Eve, we often host a small party with friends, complete with fireworks and countdowns. These celebrations are a great way to bond and create lasting memories. Are there any unique or cultural festivals in your region that you enjoy participating in or learning about? Yes, in my region, we celebrate specific festivals, which is deeply rooted in our cultural heritage. It involves traditional dances, music, and special foods. I find it fascinating to learn about the history behind the festival and witness the vibrant cultural expressions. It's a time when the community comes together to celebrate our shared identity. How do you feel when a festival or holiday is approaching? The anticipation of an upcoming festival or holiday always brings a sense of excitement. It's a time to break from the routine, unwind, and enjoy the festivities. The atmosphere becomes lively and there's a collective sense of joy and celebration. It's a great opportunity to create happy moments and strengthen bonds with the loved ones. In your opinion, what makes festival and holidays important for individuals and communities? Festivals and holidays play an important role in bringing people together. They provide an opportunity for individuals to take a break from their busy lives, relax and connect with others. These celebrations often carry cultural, religious or historical significance, nurturing a sense of belonging and unity within communities. Additionally, They add color and vibrancy to our lives, making them richer and more meaningful. 